Welcome back everyone. This will be the final part of the Orc Gargant build, so that means it's painting time. I'm not the best painter in the world, but I didn't want to leave it incomplete, so here we go. So I started off with a brown primer, a little trick I picked up from Lincoln Wright. Um, I'll show a little bit more of his technique later on. And then I dry brushed a sort of rusty or aged metal over it, made with silver and brown. I added a bit more gray to the same mix, gray and silver, and then did another pass just to get the edges with a little bit more weathered metal, still looking really old and brown. Here's the technique I picked up from Lincoln Wright. I'm painting just not quite to the edge and uh, leaving that exposed metal really looks like uh, it gives a nice weathering effect without too much effort. If you haven't seen Lincoln Wright, he's got a channel called Paint on Plastic, and uh, I'll add a link to it. Pretty awesome, lots of great uh, painting tutorials. I'm just sort of building up the layers with lighter and lighter reds. Doing the same thing with the black colors, starting with a dark gray to rough in this sort of aged old paint. There we go, and then I'll pick it up with a slightly darker black uh, to put another layer on there. Start undercoating all of the white parts with gray doing the same pattern or technique where I just go to the edge, leaving some of that metal exposed, sort of instant weathering. mix up a green just to use for cabling and pipes and that sort of thing. Green's a nice complementary color for red, so nice way to do details on an orc. Picking out a few more details with this light blue, just some of the cabling and, and wires and that sort of thing. Mixing up another aged looking metal with brown, black, and silver. Using a cream color, it makes sort of a lighter one, still a brown based metal as opposed to a, a gray based metal. I figure that fork machinery is pretty aged, pretty rough. painted silver onto the chainsaw hand here and the grabber claw. They get the most use crushing and sawing things respectively. And here at the front, the smashing area gets worn down too, so it's got a, a light silver to show the really worn down metal. And the lighter whites to the skull and the other white areas. Still keeping the exposed metal. I wanted to do a caution stripe kind of pattern on the chainsaw, so I start by basing in the yellow, and then I weather it with some sponged on rusty color, dark rust color. My technique was not perfect with the masking tape, but in the end I ended up with something I'm pretty happy with. 
to do the glowing eye, I started with a dark green right in the lens and also sort of lighting up the metal frame around it. And I just work up to lighter greens, highlighting the lens and also adding some lighting around. There you go, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Mixing up a few mud and rust washes here. I'm using a thinner I made out of dish detergent and water. It's a little trick I picked up from Luke over at Luke's APS. He's awesome, I get a lot of good ideas from him, so thanks Luke. If you haven't seen his stuff, I'll add his, uh, a link to his channel in the description as well. So I'm adding this rust onto just about everything that wouldn't see too much frequent contact all over the back and the sides. Tried to age the black with sort of a really thin whitewash. Thought it looked like salt or other oxidization leaking out onto the paint. And darken it up with a, a little bit more black wash. Just adding more dripping details and other weathering on the back. And then a bit of weathering on the white painted areas, the skull and the teeth at the front. Using a toothbrush, I applied some speckledy mud. I start with a really light color for the higher up areas. This is old dry mud. And then I basically work darker and darker until I get down to a fresh, sort of a fresh earth or fresh mud. Finally, I mix up and brush on this darker mud on just onto the tires and the tracks. And we'll call that done. If you haven't seen the build videos yet, you can go back and watch how this vehicle was made. 
In any case, I hope you've enjoyed the video and please consider sharing and subscribing to this channel.